Radio. Levioso. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade, that all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the calibre of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ovenous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Revelio. 
I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Hollow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Rebellion. On another adventure, are we? Since when should it matter? Revelia.
Revelia. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. You, you can't ill friends have feelings too! It's taken hours to demustache your Aunt Mildred! Lumos. Lumos. Rebellion. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. Well, oh, that's one of Zenobia's cobblestones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about.
I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Ugh, I can't wait. Mm. Revelio. We'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Revelio! Surely those were curdle. Fear is weakness. Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Avelio. Accio! Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about.
Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Here. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Rebellion. Rebellion. <laughs> what are you up to now?
Velio. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. Revelio. of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Revelio. You know it does help to look at the thing while you're stirring. I suppose I... was before I You've had more luck than I did tracking down. Hello, Zenobia. I've found all of your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? Of course. They are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which. Now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. That's a horrible idea. No one wants to get that awful stench all over them again. Why not? Gobstones are splendid fun, and now everyone knows the rules. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. Me keeping one. Why not? I think it's nice to be able to look back. Oi! Can you. Hello? Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. 
Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Following a Hogwarts treasure map? Count me in. Wonderful! Hogwarts fascinates me! You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm... Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. I've always said that travel broadens... Professor, do you have time to chat? I always have time for my students. How may I help you? Apologies, Professor. Perhaps another time. <laughs> of course. See you, my young friend. Hmm. Huh. 
rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. Rebellion. There's the fountain. I'm getting closer. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Is everything all right? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian Keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumor is that a former headmistress, Professor Moll, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you'll be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, oh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet... If anything, Revelio. This stairwell looks promising. Lumos. This looks like the portrait from the map. Now, where's the treasure? Accio! There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Revelio.
Repair it. Thank you.